hi everyone welcome to Laret edu solutions in today's video we'll be looking at what to expect in the coming was a wide data processing examination so we are not going to be taking much time but within the short period of time we have in this short clip we are going to be looking at the expectation the expected questions the types of expected questions in data processing WIAC examination for the coming exam that we are going to be writing very soon so let's kick off without wasting much of our time now I'm going to be starting with the objective questions data processing paper 1 in data processing paper 1 you should expect the following expect questions from any topic in data processing so the question can come from any of the topic you know this is objectives and how do you tackle this to tackle this you need to solve all past questions in data processing make sure you go over all the past questions and you solve them correctly and secondly to tackle this you need to do an in-depth reading or studying of every topic in this subject in order to be well prepared to attempt any question in the paper one which is ob objective questions then in the theory aspect which is data processing paper 2 section a you should expect the following expect questions from any topic in data processing expect questions that look like a scenario that is pointing to an application package for instance ali was employed in adamu um, sons limited and he was employed as a secretary he needs to type a letter and forward it to their the HR department in another branch what are the software packages needed in order to solve this type of problem so and you know it's talking about letter typing which is Microsoft Word it's an example of word processing package so it's talking about sending via the internet to the HR in another branch so that was that means this um, the secretary will be making use of uh, a, bra a, a browser and a word processing package to solve the problem so that is why you must expect you should expect these types of question you should expect this type of question pointing to scenarios I mean scenario pointing to an application package then you should also expect questions like questions on shortcut keys so that comes out frequently year after year questions on shortcut keys how do you tackle this type of expectations one make sure you cover all topics while preparing for the examination that's one of the ways of tackling this type of expectation so when they bring questions from any topic you'll be able to attempt it correctly and get your full mark then secondly spend time reading definitions uses and examples of the following application packages word processing spreadsheet presentation packages database packages graphics packages and internet browsers totally spend time learning a lot of shortcut keys and their functions for instance shortcut keys like control plus enter which means page break shortcut keys like control plus H which means replace control plus G which means go to control plus a which means select all control plus high which means italicize control plus B which means bold control plus Y which means redo Control plus Z, which means undo. Control plus C, which means copy. Control, I mean Alt plus F4, which means exit or close or shut down. Control plus K, which means hyperlink. Control plus N, which means new document. There are a lot of shortcut keys. So to help yourself, you can Google shortcut keys in different application packages and try to learn them to get yourself well prepared for this theory, which is section A. Now for section B which is test of, test of practical you are going to you should expect the following you should expect questions on shortcut keys like I said concerning section A so at times they also bring questions on shortcut keys for the test of practical then you should expect questions on computer application package interface what do I mean by this? At times they bring questions, I mean, showing computer application interface. You must be ready for that. 
Then thirdly, you should expect questions on scenario pointing to any application software of which you have been taught. Then number four, you should also expect questions on procedures in carrying out tasks in application software. They bring that from time to time. Then you should expect questions on computer hardware. Expect questions on computer hardware. They can ask you what is the name of the hardware, they can ask you the function, they can also ask you about the labeled parts of the hardware. Concerning procedures in carrying out um, application and uh, carrying out tasks in application and software, they can ask you, okay, how do you make a drop curve and so on and so forth. So you have to be ready to tackle questions like that. Then lastly on on the test of practical expect questions on then lastly on the test of practical expect questions on the practical side of network or networking you can ask you questions on the practical side they can give you the diagram of a network topology and be asking you what type of topology is this how does this work what is this where is the client where is the server and so on and so forth so you have to be ready for that they can draw a cloud and connect a computer to it so that depicts internet so you have to expect expect questions in areas like this how do you tackle this type of expectations if you see them number one no many shortcut keys and their functions like i've said you can go to google and google about different shortcut keys and their functions then secondly make sure that you are able to identify any of the following application interface microsoft word microsoft excel powerpoint access corel draw internet explorer Google Chrome and Mozilla very important you must be able to name each of these of the icons in this application interface and also tell their functions for instance look at this application package I'm showing to you this interface actually represents Microsoft PowerPoint when you see this in your question this type of picture you must be able to tell the, the examiner that this is an I am powerful this is a Microsoft PowerPoint interface then you must also be able to tell them each of the icons in the environment what they do look at the next picture here the next picture here is showing us uh, the interface of Microsoft Word so you must be able to know this when you see it most of the time the title bar may not be there if you look at what I'm showing you the title bar is showing documents on Microsoft Word so with that you can easily you know detect the application interface but the tax bar which is the bottom bar will not be showing the title bar may also not be showing so you must be able to identify just by seeing you know the other parts of the document I mean of the application interface then this is Microsoft Excel application interface you must be able to identify this if you see it in your question paper then this is Microsoft Access application package you must be able to identify this if you see it in your question paper this is the Corel Draw interface, application interface, you must be able to identify this if you see it in your question paper. This is the Internet Explorer interface, you must be able to identify this if you see it in your question paper. This is the Google Chrome interface, you must be able to identify this if you see it in your question paper. Now let's move on. Spend another way of tackling this type of expectation is for you to spend time reading definitions uses an example of the following application softwares. For instance, uh, I'm talking about the Microsoft Word spreadsheet, presentation packages, data database packages, graphics packages, and browsers. Spend time knowing their definition, knowing the uh, uses and the examples of um, these five or six categories of um, application software. Another way you can prepare for the expectations or for expected questions in this subject is to make sure that you can use each of the application environment very well. This will help you to be able to state procedures. When they ask you, okay, state some procedures or the procedure involved in making a drop cap, state the procedure involved in making a mail merge, state the procedure involved in bolding a text. You, when you know how to do this on the system, it's easier for you to to write out the procedures without cramming them in your in your head then next to, you also need to know the general name and functions including the names of the parts and different of different hardware and their functions so that will help you in tackling questions that, ref, that regards to computer hardware because they will ask you what's the name of this hardware and if they 
then they can ask you a point you can see pointers to different parts of the ad you're asking you to name the part and their function then lastly familiar familiarize yourself with pictures that depict computer networking and internet you can go to google and search under images for um, computer network internet you see different images representing computer networking internet you can also google network topology you see different pictures showing different types of network topology and that is how you can prepare very well for data processing uh, which is coming very soon and you can have a one in this subject if you have found this video very 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 useful please subscribe like and share this video and if you have more questions or you have you need more information from us you can send us an email at solutions at gmail.com we will we'll be glad to receive your email and respond promptly to it thanks for watching the video before you go don't forget an honest student is an asset to a nation shun examination malpractice see you in my next video bye bye